you guys, I'm back and I am going down to Pipe to go surf for the first time since my injury. I went out to Rockies yesterday, caught like three waves real quick, and then went to town with Jack for his birthday and went parasailing because we're all sober so we didn't party. Ended up going parasailing. It was pretty fun actually. We could throw a clip in right here. <laughs> How far high are we? A thousand feet? No. <laughs> That's a plane. Oh my god, dude. But uh, yeah, I feel really good and I got all my boards ready to go. They were all dusty so I sprayed them off and Coa Smith has this softer helmet for me. Down at pipe, I'm gonna check it out, throw it on, see how it feels. I got my padded vest and it is a beautiful day. Probably going to be one of the best pipe days of the season so far, just judging by the conditions. If you look up at the trees right now, you can see that they are not moving, which means it's really good land. That typically means the waves are firing, if it's a northwest swell and sunny out. So I got my 6.4, I got two 6.6s, six a 6.2. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a little nervous to get back in the water, but I'm excited as well because I love surfing pipe more than anything. And even though I got hurt last time I surfed it, it's definitely not gonna stop me and I'm gonna go back out today and I'm going to go get barrel. So, wish me luck. We're gonna head down right now. If you like this video and subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button right there below this video. Um, every subscriber helps, every like helps, every comment helps, so thank you guys for supporting. And yeah, we're not stopping anytime soon, so subscribe. Of this year, I don't know who it is. But it's not. Someone got hurt, that's for sure. Yeah, fine. Like you have to Great. Oh my better god. Than I know. Way better. Wow, wow look how run. nice these conditions are. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. I just want him to go serve VLAN. <laughs> you know, a couple VLAN <laughs> sessions. Oh, cool. Here you go. What were you saying to cut off? <laughs> I cut this off and I cut this little flappy bill off because it doesn't do anything and you just, I don't know. Like water, you look you even more like a poop. Marshmallow, <laughs> the DJ. Sun protection. It, it honestly doesn't protect any sun. Does it protect your head at all? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Dude. Definitely from like water slaps. I don't know. See, this is like without the bill and the. I'd say leave the bill. It's kind of cool. Lucas Godfrey like cut out the ear too, so you can like hear better. But yeah, it's impossible. I can't hear anything. I know that. That's what was bothering me with that one. But just kind of like water in your ears a little bit. Can I try that one on? Yeah. Where is yours? Very cool. Well, you're not going out without one, buddy. I don't know. I really don't like it. What'd you say? Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I'm gonna go try harvest. Do this right. Holy sh! It's firing. Oh sh! Is that Tiger? Dorner? Yeah. Well, oh, this is living athlete. He's got trained. Where's the scissors to come out? Try this on for kicks. How does it feel when you fall? Don't feel it. Yeah. Is it for you? Where that it goes? Because it cuts through the water. Those make you bob up. What did you hit? It wasn't even like... I don't remember. I stopped, I stopped filming because it was nothing. I remember jumping and then I was on the stretcher. 
and Lydia was right remember. there, and I was like covered in blood. Oh, so I couldn't see you? super well. I don't know about these. <laughs> How do I look? Super cool. Weird. I can't hear much. Um, yeah, I'm honestly not too much of a fan of how they feel. I don't know how to tell you this, man. You gotta wear one. Tighter. It is definitely tighter. Dude, it's you're... way better. I just don't like it. Nobody likes it. He's wearing it. That's what I said. He doesn't want I to. don't know, dude. Kala. Yes. Oh. Kala. Look, he's wearing a helmet. Yep. That drop was nuts, bro. I made it pretty tight with like pads. It's loose. Oh yeah, well I have a bigger <laughs> head. Hey Peter. Oh, okay. you look good. Is that a life? I feel like the hard one is better. That's what I'm saying too. That one's not gonna do <laughs> That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, it's not. So why would you even wear one if you're gonna wear that one? Exactly. Wear that. I don't know if I can do it. Let's go try it. What's... I could go try it. Thanks, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks? Thanks yeah. for wearing that. Please. Why, are you worried about me too, Jack? I mean, I don't want you to die. Everyone's worried about you. Sweating. That's like getting shot and being like, I don't need a bulletproof vest. It's not gonna happen again. Yeah, I may as well wear the plastic one. Ugh. <laughs> If I don't like it, I'm coming in and taking it off. Alright. I got my 6.4. I got my Quicksilver Impact Vest. These pads, I took them out of the front. Because I didn't like them before when they were on my chest. There's a ton on the back, my legs. And I got the helmet I'm going to try out. So wish me luck. I'm excited. The waves look pretty fun. But it's not like all time and it's not giant. So I think it's a good day to get back out there. Feel it out, catch a couple small ones, see how the helmet feels. Honestly, if I don't like it, I'm just going to come to the beach and take it off. But I'm going to try it for a session. Try to get a couple. Yeah, thanks for watching. How do I look? Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? You look like the coolest guy out there. And it's cool. <laughs> well, I'm going to try it. Yeah. Feels weird. Feels very, very weird. Can't say I'm not nervous, but I feel good. <laughs> Did you go out already? No, I fucking. Hey, was that you? Yeah. Fuck, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What like, happened? I was like behind this peak, and I was like, oh, meant to look full and kinda. And then I went to knife, and my fucking back fin came out. And I barely landed, and I was like so arching, pulling up. I was like watching the lift, and I jumped. Oh my god. Alright. Come in, boy. Makana said he'd wear his if I wore mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see how it feels duck diving and shit. Oh, it's Smith. a good damn day to wear a helmet, though. Is it's it? Fucking shallow. The pipeline's been aggressive. Alright, guys. Here we go. Okay, I go.
God. He fucking, he straightened out of the same area, I swear. Yeah, he's okay. Wow. <laughs> Way to go, guy. <laughs> well, welcome back, brother. It was nice to be in the water, but I didn't get a close to a good wave. Right when I decided to paddle out, the waves, just, the wind just went like swirly, onshore, offshore, side shore. Just like. I didn't have a super fun session, but I was glad to be out there. I feel great. I don't know about this thing. I really don't like it. It's like restrictive on your head. It's trippy. But, got a couple waves stood up. And that was it. Yeah, we'll see how it is in a little bit. But it doesn't look like it's getting any better. I think my timing was pretty bad. I should have came out earlier than I did. Let's crack it tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. All right, day two of this pipe swell, and as you can see, well, we just missed it, but it's kind of way too big, and I don't feel like going out there and getting smoked and caught inside all day. So we can either wait for it to drop or maybe go check a different wave or do a workout. So I'm in the decision-making process at the moment, and yeah, yesterday felt good. It's just that helmet, I'm just, I'm, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I honestly hate it. Because I caught two awful waves, terrible waves, that weren't even like worth going out for. Because right when I fell out, it just got so bad for some reason. When I came in on my last wave, I like kind of jumped off on the sandbar area, or like got hit by the wave, and I was underwater, and I just felt lost with the helmet on. I felt like a kook underwater and I felt like I didn't know which way was up or which way was down and something I typically am really good at like I've fallen on the craziest waves out here straight on head first over the falls and I'm really good at protecting myself underwater it's almost like I've practiced that so much almost pretty much just as much as I've practiced dropping in and getting barreled out here and when I put the helmet on, I felt like I just completely lost that. So what I'm trying to say is, I think the helmet may put me in a worse position than I normally would be in. Because that wave I'm talking about, I just fell on the way end at the sandbar. And if I fell on a huge wave, like I normally, I'll normally fall on, like eating shit down the face, on the reef and stuff, then if I don't know where I am and I feel like, discombobulated <laughs> it might end up making me hit my head so I think what I'm gonna do before I fully give up the helmet is I'm gonna go buy a different one that people like it's called the gaff one I think you can there's it's a little different shape there's ear holes that like twist you can pop those out and it makes it maybe a little easier but I'm gonna go get one of those wait for like a smaller Rockies day and then use it for like 30 minutes and like keep doing that every day I surf a smaller wave that's less intense or dangerous and see how I feel and hopefully try to get used to it but if I can't then there's no way I just got to put on padded suits because I, I don't know I'm so used to doing something a certain way that it just makes it super super difficult when I change a little thing because you have to be so hyper aware and your senses are so on point that that little thing just changes everything. But yeah, I'm not going out right now. I am going to wait a little bit and see what happens here in a second. I might go work out, I might go surf, I don't know. Let's see, but thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, we're not going nowhere.